Hi everyone, it's me Lina again. Welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you a lot for checking my videos out. And today in this video I would like to make a review on series which is called Carmel who killed Maria Marta. I recently watched it on Netflix and I want to be honest I'm still under impression. I want to say that it is a really nicely made show. Creators did well, but before I actually start my review, I want to warn you and say that this video may contain some spoilers. So if you don't want me to spoil anything for you, you better stop watching this video. Honestly, I would hate to spoil anything for people who still didn't watch this show, because this show is full of mysteries and so on, so it would be really bad. This video is more like sharing opinions, maybe discussions, rather than review, but yeah, I would still call it review, so... Anyway, again, I think creators managed everything very well. They managed even to invite people who were relatives of the person who died, who was killed, actually. And I think it's interesting to see, also they tried to put everything the way it is creators meaning they manage to like record scenes and even though sometimes some people were misleading you know they were saying misleading scenes or they were for example saying one thing now and then something else later or they were saying too much they still recorded it and I think it's nice it's well organized to show so yeah I think creators definitely did well they tried to maybe, you know, show it as it is, but still making maybe all the details, so like as, you know, editing very well. And yeah, I think show is well made. As it comes to the events shown in the show, I think it is incredibly sad story because, you know, I think that... I saw this quote somewhere already while well, actually sort of watching this show and it said something like if there can't be justice let there be truth at least and I really agree to that and honestly it would be really good if finally there would be justice or at least, you know, truth, who actually killed this lady, Maria Marta um, Garcia, I believe, yes. Well, sorry, I don't remember all the names just like that, but yeah, Maria Marta, this lady who, well, she seemed full of life and just nice person, actually. Well, you can't say maybe nice, because... We don't know her, right? But still, it seems like that. It's very bizarre. All those scenes, all those details surrounding her death. It's just so bizarre and just incredibly, you know, creepy, I'd say, too, actually. Honestly, if you watch the show, you know the prosecutor and other people, well, you saw what they were saying and... Somehow I would maybe agree to his theory, even though I believe that he was sort of really fitting some facts to his theory rather than, you know, maybe um, discovering something else. But I would rather believe his theory because I think that it is incredibly bizarre that a family members, siblings, husband, they were trying to hide something. They were even trying to hide the fact that she was killed and not they were saying that it was accident something like that even if they didn't know that yet right in the beginning still later on i'm sure they would and they were still like trying to you know hide or you know slow it down somehow and also they were like for example they were destroying evidences not destroying but like throwing them away flashing them in the toilet? What is that? I know, maybe the guy was like under pressure in some way, you know, maybe he, you know, stressed, was stressed, but still it doesn't quite fit to the, you know, like 
this version of a good family or something like that. I believe that they are covering up. I'm not sure who exactly, you know, killed the lady, but I would rather believe that if I'm honest, that one of them hit um, her. Well, there were, uh, I believe, seven bullets found. Maybe I'm a bit wrong about the numbers, sorry, I mean, yeah. It's very, very peaceful. I think that um, it's just uh, unbelievable and also obviously when you know there are also that many of you because one bullet was found sort of like under the body and it was sort of destroyed a bit and they kept calling it Singi so the guy actually threw away that Singi her brother I believe uh, John or, or yeah I think so it's bizarre but I'm not saying that he you know like necessary he like killed or anything he didn't seem to be there but uh, still is bizarre in my opinion rather also all of them acted bizarre and even uh, the fact that her friend, when she came to like funeral, she overheard, not overheard, she had conversation with a family friend who said that husband paid off something somewhere, basically like bribed maybe. Well, honestly, all those things, I don't think she's like making it up, this friend. I mean, really? What for? Like do you think that she was like i don't know still jealous so i mean what is like the reason i'm trying to in my head to find the reason for her to say that to lie like that mm, i don't think so though the fact that there was neighbor who was um well criminal still i think even though his father seemed to be like famous and so on he seemed to be a criminal maybe he was involved I would believe it maybe, but um, I'm not sure. Did they say that some, something was stolen? Or for example, why would he uh, hit her, well, sh shot the gun so many like times in her head? Was he that like angry with her? Some neighbor? Do you think? It could be, I would believe that story completely if not fact that family was constantly like cleaning floor from the blood just right after they found the body then telling uh, ambulance or something like that that she is still breathing why she couldn't be possibly breathing because she had like she was killed like with gunshots and uh, also throwing away um, bullets, bullets, sorry, and also, for example, what they uh, did, they paid off some people, they, uh, some of their friends apparently said to the security guys not to let police in, and if they'll have to, they can bribe even police, that's what the things that they said, you know, like, make it so, so why would they do that? Or I don't know, maybe they were connected to neighbor. Why not? I've been thinking about it. That's rather, you know. Because the fact that uh, this prosecutor was saying, you know, since like they did some money uh, laundering uh, through the, um, you know, this, um, not the company, how do you say it? The organization that uh, this Maria Marta was working in, um, it would be true, but he didn't have like any facts to prove. So I think this fact that he was saying that it's rather interesting. I would believe that, but he really didn't find any evidences of them, you know, doing something like that or being related to any like drug, you know scenes let's say so he didn't really find anything like that but maybe i'm not sure but then if they were connected 
the relatives to the neighbor is still bizarre because why would he need to like hit her so many times obviously someone was rather angry and honestly the one moment they showed how scenes could be in the show it was very very creepy and scary because it's basically her like close family they just they chased her to the bathroom and just you know, and I actually agree to the words that the prosecutor said that it's rather very sad to think that the last minutes of her life were so like just terrible because well he said that he sort of like hope or something that the last faces she saw you know like well basically killing her maybe the her family members face faces i don't know it's rather very very creepy and just sad and frustrating yeah i'm not sure even how to describe this but of course it could be that i'm not sure maybe somehow this neighbor with his wife apparently he had wife because they even mm, said in the show that there was some lady walking somewhere there or something like that and or no maybe she was even in the house and they couldn't recognize her because the security guy said that they didn't let anyone in or that the maids well not the maids sorry the well the cleaning service let's say maybe let's put it this way that they were not working at that time or something like that which is very creepy in my opinion but i don't know even let's say she went there as a person who so this wife of that neighbor she um wore the clothes of like uh, the working person who was cleaning yeah and she went there to check for example if they have money in the house for example even, or something like that yeah but i don't know why would they like try to kill her so like violently I mean, it's very bizarre. Also, the family cleaning everything up. Why would they clean everything up? Maybe they didn't want like the big like scandal or something. I'm not sure how to say. But it's still bizarre. Why would they do that? Maybe they are not really, you know. But honestly, when they were interviewed, I thought that some of them acting were acting a bit like nervous not nervous rather shaky i'm not sure how to call it really this you know behavior it's very bizarre and i don't know what to believe it of course could turn out that really that neighbor was responsible or maybe even something else but how did they get in this like close community sort of club where the house where it's very bizarre because there is security Maybe it's someone who is, you know, sort of working there. Maybe in the end, actually in the show, they said that, well, they sort of lead us to the thought that maybe security guys were somehow, you know, involved. I don't know. Of course it could be. The interesting is that, honestly, through the show, I couldn't follow very much, firstly, the sibling story, because there are so many of them she had. This Maria, Marta, Garcia. Yeah. She has very long name. Well, it's uh, quite common. Yeah. So it's interesting, you know. I really would love to like hear that there is justice and you know that there is more evidence pointing to some like scenes and maybe they found someone who is actually guilty. That would be good. Good to know. Because it's very bizarre and um, just so creepy. But yeah, the show was made very well, I think. I'm really curious what you think. Honestly, guys, on my rating from 1 to 10, I would give this show rather 10 stars out of 10 because it totally deserves it. I think it was made just very nice and yeah, the show is very well, like made
create it, edit it even. So yeah, let me know what you think, maybe you have some theories or just opinion on the show. I would be glad to, you know, to read your opinion on such. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video some thumbs and I'll see you soon. Wow.